in downstate Effingham. Eric. Well, good evening. Excitement certainly growing here among Bailey supporters. Again, staff has told me that they do not expect this to be a long night. They've even had some people come up on stage. They're starting to read some of these early returns, and every time they do come up on stage, there is a loud cheer from all of the supporters here. And they also had a number of speakers come up uh, and not only talk about what they expect Darren Bailey to do if he is uh, successful here tonight, but they also talked about a real movement in the political landscape, not only in the country, but here in Illinois. A, a number of the speakers, they, they got up there and they said, they are, we are the allies that are in Springfield that can help change this state into a, a, what they see as really issues that J.B. Pritzker has brought to the state. Uh, we heard from one state rep uh, just a short time ago. What we're doing tonight, what you're doing tonight, is sending shockwaves through the political establishment that are, that are going to reverberate all the way through November 8th when we fire J.V. Prisker and we put Darren Bailey in the governor's mansion in Springfield. Now, some of the shock waves that he was talking about there was not only Democrats, but also establishment Republicans as well. So, the, again, really the conversation here tonight so far is one that is growing a political base that does agree with Darren Bailey and his politics and bringing that to Springfield to try and move some of these ideas along if he is successful tonight and if he is successful come November. Still got some time here, but once again, they do not ex anticipate a very long night here, but uh, once again, uh, they are very excited here at the uh, Bailey campaign headquarters. We are live in Effingman. I'm Eric Rock, WGN News. Well, Eric, we're all hoping what they are hoping.